Today on Plain Sight Spotlight, Dimtro vs. Swift et al., case number 107CV11277 RJS in the Southern District of New York. The internet has rediscovered this civil case filed 16 years ago against famous singer-songwriter Taylor Swift and her parents, Andrea and Scott Swift. The plaintiff, Dan Dimtro, is a well-known talent manager whose main client at the time that the Swifts hired him was Britney Spears. The lawsuit is notable for a few reasons. First, there are attachments to a declaration submitted by attorneys for the Swifts that include copies of contracts early in Taylor Swift's musical career between her family, since Taylor was a minor at the time, and Sony ATV. Second, Dimtro alleges that even as Swift was just starting to be recognized in the early 2000s, her father asked him who owned the rights to the master recordings of her songs. Years later, this issue would flare into a much larger controversy between Swift and Big Machine Records, run by Scott Borchetta. Dimtro alleges in his lawsuit that he introduced the Swifts to Borchetta, which runs contrary to conventional wisdom that Borchetta simply discovered her at Nashville's Bluebird Cafe. And third, there's a long rambling email from Scott Swift to Dimtro included in the documents that internet fans have described as unhinged. Whether it's a sign of things to come or just a father expressing some legitimate concerns to his daughter's manager in a rather verbose manner is open to interpretation. Generally, Dimtro alleges that he was cut out of Swift's success by her father, Scott Swift, who said that he was temporarily taking over as her manager just before a crucial meeting with Sony ATV, which Dimtro says that he set up. As a result, Dimtro alleges that he wasn't paid what he was owed. While Redditors have been excited about the initial complaint in the lawsuit, until today, it doesn't appear that as much attention has been paid to the first amended complaint, access to which is restricted on PACER, the federal court database. When a complaint is amended, the amended version supersedes all prior complaints on the docket. Here, since the First Amendment complaint was refiled in another declaration filed by an attorney for Scott Borchetta and Big Machine Records, we can still see what it says. The most important difference appears to be that the First Amendment complaint also includes claims by Dimtro against Scott Borchetta and Big Machine Records. The legal claims included in the First Amendment complaint were unjust enrichment, breach of contract, promissory estoppel and estoppel and pies, tortious interference, and breach of implied covenant of good faith and fair dealing. There were seven claims in all, owing to various combinations of the defendants applying to different causes of action. To view these documents for yourself and learn more about Taylor Swift's litigation history, you can view her profile page on Plainsight. You'll find the links in the description below.